Are you sure we're not gonna use this one? Are you kidding me right now? You're lying. Okay, maybe I do regret saying. <laughs> top five girl names, and now let's get into the top five boy names we love. I'm not the biggest fan of these five. I actually have had a list in my phone since I was like 15 years old of names that I love. And so I'm gonna read names literally off my list that I've actually crossed off because I feel like we're pretty set on our names. I wanna say these names so bad, I really do. Like the names can't. that we are uh, for sure picking. We have like, how many names do we have like for sure picked out? I can think of three. Yeah, we have three. Three that are like dialed. Our top three names we Two know Two girls sure. and one boy is yeah. what we have. <laughs> this is so exciting that we're finally doing this whole adoption process. And so now we're starting to just think of names, both genders, of course, so we can be prepared. And we're just really, really excited. So the first name that we really love is Violet. Wait, also, I just gotta say disclaimer. If you're named any of these names, they're all beautiful names. Yeah. Okay, like this isn't us hating on any sort of name. So the first name is Violet. I love this name. I like it too, a lot. The reason I like this name is because I feel like it's just timeless. Like it, I could see someone as a baby being named Violet, but then as an adult being named Violet. Yeah, which is important because there are a lot of names that go very well with a baby, but then as an adult, you're kind of like, eh, maybe yeah. not. So I just think it's important to get a name that can fit throughout their whole life. I really like this name. Yeah, me too. Are you sure we're not gonna use this one? So the second girl name, that we like but won't be using is Willow. That's so cute. Do you know anybody named Willow? Uh, No, I don't. I know I a couple know Winnie's, but yeah, I don't Winnie's know cute. Willow. I think Winnie is such a cute I like name. the name Winnie, but Winnie the Pooh already owns that name. No, I think Winnie is so cute. I have you a like couple friends one? who named their babies. I think it's the cutest name ever. But Willow is such a pretty name. Again, I feel like it's just so timeless. It has like that whimsical vibe to it, which I think is so cute. I could just picture such an adorable little girl named Willow. I like that one a lot. Maybe I'm regretting telling. Saying that. <laughs> this next one I love. I absolutely love this name, and it is Lola. Yeah, that's really. That cute. is such. A I cute like name. it because I really like the names that start with L, yeah. like Lola Lambert. That's so cute. I think cute. it's just so cute. The reason we're not gonna use the name Lola is just because I obviously I love that name, but I just don't feel like it feels right. I love the name Lola Lambert though. I think it's really cute. But yeah. the name that we love for our girl is like just I think it tops it. <laughs> you just <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's why we're using it. Just it just tops it. But it's funny because the next one on the list is Lila. And I feel like Lila and Lola go together Aww. very well. They could be like little twins. Lila and Lola. That would be really that's cute. That's so cute. Lila's cute. Is Lila a color? No, that's lilac. No, lilac's a flower. Yeah, but like lilac, <laughs> lilac purple is like light purple, like a lavender purple. Wait, there's a song. Lilac tree. It's like yeah, a lilac church tree. song. Anyway, Lola and Lila, Lila, two beautiful names. I feel like we like the names that like represent purple, like Violet and lilac. Oh, yeah. Like lilac. Lola and Lila Lambert. That's so Triple cute. L. Okay, maybe I do regret saying. Tell them the next one. This one is so cute. The name Sunny. Are you kidding me right now? We have some friends that just named their baby yeah, Sunny. Yeah, Sarah the Beasons. Yeah. Cutest name ever. I yeah, just, I like that I one. feel like it fits their baby so well because they like lived on the beach, you know, and like little Sunny. That girl has to grow up to be like a little ball of sunshine. <laughs> Which I'm sure she will little be. Little ball of sunshine. Actually, fun fact, my guinea pig when I was a kid, his name was Sunny. What was my guinea pig's name? Both of my guinea pigs were Sunny and Gazimo. Gazimo? Gazimo. I think that was my guinea pig's name. You're lying. I'm not kidding. You're lying. I'm not kidding. I think mine was Gazebo. <laughs> no, Gazebo. Like, I need to call my mom and ask her. I need to call my mom. I Gazebo. think it was Gazebo. I swear. You're lying. Gizzy? I, we used to call him Gizzy. Me too. You're lying. I, You're lying. I, I, I really think You're so. You're lying to me. Call your mom. Babe, I'm not kidding. Gazebo? Gazebo. Yeah, yeah. Say that lying. No way. Mom, I need you. Hi, mom. Hey. Hey. Um, good. Wait. Say hi to the camera real quick. Hello. Okay. Listen, I have a question. What was my guinea pig's name? Growing up. Don't blink, mom, don't blink. <laughs> mom, 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 was it Gazimo? No. What? Gazimo? Yes. No, Gizzy? 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 No, no. She said definitely not. <laughs> I thought it was Gazimo. Definitely not. The one that had a tragic accident. We don't speak about it. Oh, what is it? <laughs> All right, let me call Allison. Bye. <laughs> hey, Allison. Hey. Hey, um, random question. What was my guinea pig's name? You had Oh, it's Pumba. It's Pumba. How did you think it was Gazimo? So those are like our top five girl names that we love. And now let's get into the top five boy names we love. Wait, comment down below if you think you can guess our number one girl name. Based or on our number one the boy five. Name. It's not in the five, but no, like no, it's like kind of in the same world as the five, I think. Yeah, like I, I feel like you can kind of get the vibe. Yeah. For boys, you started off. So let me just say something. Boy names are way harder for us. Way harder. For us to agree on and think of any cool ones, it's harder. One of them is 
is Jetson. But I don't really like that name. I like that name. I think Do it's you? cute. You could call him Jet. Yeah, true. That's cute. Jetson Lambert. I think it's like kind of like the modernized Jackson. I like Jet. I think Jet's cool. Yeah, when it comes to picking a name for your baby, I feel like it's like the hardest task ever because they're gonna literally have that name for the rest of their life. Jet Lambert. That's maybe, pretty cool. Maybe we will use that. Jetson. I kind of like that. I don't like Jetson, but I like Jet. Okay, Jet Lambert. The name for a boy is Lane. The reason I like that is Lane Lambert. I like that it's just one syllable. I really like that actually. Like I feel like it's like a strong name. I've never heard it. I think it's super pretty. I feel like I could just like picture a little boy named Lane. Chris Lane was my favorite country singer a while ago. And so that's what I think of. Lane Lambert. I think it's cool. Once again, we're at the L's. Another name we have on the list is Axel. Mm. I, I like this name, but mm. I don't love it. I had a friend growing up named Steel and I thought okay. that was really cool. Axel I think is cool. It's hard. Hard to name a kid or, or a baby after a car park. Think about that. I right? think it's cool. It's kind. Of, I can just like picture more of like a tough guy. Man, I don't know. I struggle with boy names. I really do. Oh, so this one's cool. This name is Rome. Rome, Rome? Lambert. That's so cute for a little boy. Yeah. I like it because we've been to Rome a couple times and we love that city. I think like naming a kid after a city you've visited and had a good experience in is like a That's really cool, cool special thing. It has like a little meaning behind it. So the name Rome is super cute, but we won't be using it because I feel like there's more significant cities that we like. What's your favorite city in the world? Paris, of course. Are you gonna name your girl Paris? I mean, I could. The last boy name that I absolutely love, I really do love this. My parents actually almost named my little brother this. Which they should have. They should have, honestly. Should have, because yeah. your last name or your maiden name fits it better than our name. 100%. So it is Rock. And my last name is Weems, was Weems. So my brother would have been Rock Weems. That's, That's such so sick. a sick name. Oh. Missed but opportunity. my mom didn't like it and my dad liked it. So now his name is Weston. Honestly, Weston's like a good timeless name, you know? Rock. Rock, Rock. Weems. Dang. Like. That's sick. But I actually know a little boy named Rock. He is adorable. I like the name Rocky too. Rocky for a boy or a girl. I think it's like a gender neutral name. All right, let's get to business here. Okay, so this is something fun that we wanted to throw in. We have the top five names of 2022 and we're gonna rank them from one through is five. Is it 2022 or 2023? No, it's 2022. Okay. 2023 is not over yet, baby. Okay. So they don't know, could switch up, you know? So we're gonna rank them. We this have, is last year's top five names. Let's do the five girl names first. I'm just gonna read them off. Okay, go. Okay, at number one, it was Olivia. Number two was Emma. Number three, Amelia. Four was Ava. And five is Sophia. Yeah. Ooh, so some if, beautiful names here. If I had to pick a name from the, I'm gonna see if we pick the same one. Let's I know. say it on the we'll, count. No, 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 we'll put out, we'll put out the finger match. One, two, three. Three? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's Amelia. Amelia, but I would change it up. I have a niece who is just precious, and her name is Emily, and I think that name is Such just a cute name. adorable. I prefer that name over Amelia, yeah. but I think Amelia is really cute as well. But you could call her Millie. Cute Amelia, about that name. Millie, Amelie. I Amelie. think of Little Wayne. Yeah, but you could call her Amelia or Millie. I like that a lot. True. That's so that would be number one out of these five, Amelia. Our girls. number two favorite name. Ready? You have to, if you had a name, you're gonna yeah, yeah. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Ooh, you're saying Olivia. I say Olivia. I'm saying Ava. There's Emma and Sophia. Yeah. Emma, I just know a lot of Emmas. Me too. I think it's a it's, pretty classic name though. It is classic. For me though, I kind of like more, a little more unique. You too? Yeah. yeah. They're all really great yeah. names. The top five names for 2022 for boys. First one was Liam, two, Noah, three, Oliver, four, Elijah, five, Mateo. I struggle with boy names. Me too. I'm not the biggest fan of these five. Me either, but I i mean, I like the names, but like, yeah, I, don't, I can't like, see our son being named this, but if, we ha if I had to pick one, I know which one I would pick. Three, two, two one. one. Liam? Nah. I say Liam Lambert. That's cute. Yeah, I don't know. Dallin's saying Oliver, but the reason, I actually would have picked that one, but the reason I didn't pick it is because we have a nephew named Oliver. Yeah, So we true. couldn't choose that name. Boy none names these, are hard. None of these boy names stick out to Boy me. names are hard. But. They are cute, but it's just like, I don't know. Don't take it in like a wrong way. Yeah. I like the names. It's just. It's hard. It's really hard. It's yeah. crazy. So now we know the names that we like. We're, we're really excited because we're just trying to get everything prepared for our future baby to be here. I can't believe that we're adoption certified. We are dialed. We're ready. We are ready. We're gonna like, be parents. We're so ready. I'm wearing a shirt that says mama on it today. Yeah, so, you're gonna, uh, be, company you're gonna be the little mama baby. I'm so excited to, to be. Wait. I'm just mostly excited to be able to love on that baby and give that baby a good life and travel mm. with them. And mm, life's just, gonna be I feel so like good. life starts once you have your family. You know, that's how we feel. That's Everyone's how different. Feel. For some people, it's not. Some it's people like don't want It's like we've been kids. like missing that baby in our life for so long, and it's finally gonna happen. And we're so giddy excited. We can't even believe it. I know. Phones on loud. We're just we're just waiting. Can't wait. We're waiting for it to all happen. But happen. hope you guys like this video. It's fun to film. 
A lot of people do this. Subscribe to the channel.